Next test is for the posterior cruciate ligament injury and this is called as posterior sac test. Uh, this can be performed in a more than one different technique but I will show you the, one, the easiest one. So for this the patient's leg is uh, flexed to 90 degree, hip is flexed to 90 degree and the knee is flexed to 90 degree and rest on the therapist's hand. Just so you have to wait for a few seconds so that the gravity acts in. Relax the muscles of both the thigh and the knee and you support him for a few seconds. So due to gravity, if there is a posterior cruciate ligament injury in this leg, what happens is that the tibia drops down, there is a sag. And you can easily find by looking at the level of tibia on both affected side and the unaffected side. So if there is a posterior cruciate ligament injury, then the tibia sinks down and you can also see the sulcus sign and there is a posterior sag. The one other way of testing uh, the posterior sag, flex the hip to 45 degree, flex the knee to 90 degree and hold the knee together. So relax all these muscles. Because of the gravity, there will be a post, if this posterior cruciate ligament is affected in this knee, then the tibia posteriorly translate and you can see the sulcus sign or a posterior sag uh, in this leg, the affected leg. So you can compare this with the unaffected leg, where how the, what is the position of tibia is.